Let's go. Uh, I started the stream. <laughs> Is this actually showing up, though? All right. Yep, it's loading. Um. Yes. All right. Here we go. I have to close this, though. Uh. Uh. uh no. I don't. No. I can see a chat. All right. It's time for me to okay. drop my signature into your chat. All right. Here's my calling card. Is that? Is that the? Is that the Drawful Bear? Yes. Okay. Just... My polar bear drinking a beer. Just making sure. Um, maybe I should tweet about this. Uh, yeah, that probably will be a good idea. Oh, I have a tweeting things. No, that's people tweeting at me. That's actually hitbox tweets. I don't care about this. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, no, because I'm doing window capture on all these things, so now everyone sees what I'm doing. Yes. Uh, instead of game capture, where I can just shuffle my windows around and no one sees what I'm doing. Uh, so, okay, so I'm just gonna eh, slide this chrome over here where no one can see it, so I can actually do stuff. There we go. All right. This is, this is professional. I might as well tweet about it as well. Very professional. Uh. I mean, look at this very professional title screen. They went through the trouble of making this interface. I did tweet earlier. Anyway. Whatever, I'll tweet again. About it again. Gotta, gotta make sure people know. This is the one time in the year that I'm obnoxious, okay? <laughs> people, I, are people laughing because that's not true, I'm obnoxious all the time. I'm sorry. Uh, this game is actually pretty obnoxious. Yeah, I see we're in for a good time. Because uh -huh. it's Bubsy! Okay. Alright. Um, You know what? I forgot to get the beer. I'm gonna get to my fridge. Oh, alright. <laughs> also, also, please don't do a drinking game or something whenever you'll die or something, because, yeah, I kind of don't want you to die of alcohol poisoning. Says I after Rangney leaves. Excellent timing. Also, no, Rangney never played this before. We're going in completely blind. The most remembered mascot platformer. Forget about Mario. Whatever, it's all about the bubs. Ooh. Oh, sorry about that. Might as well get all the gas out of my body before it starts. Yep, the bubs is going strong in my notifications on Twitter. Hell yes. Oh, sure. Everybody touch the bobster. Yeah, speaking of this, I'm going to have to bug smite about the streaming Bubsy 3D. Oh, welcome back. Hi. It's me. Hello. Again. I got to stop doing Hello, that. Me. No. Okay. Just put this over here. Okay. Wait, awesome possum? What the hell is this? I don't know. I kind of have to look it up now, because apparently okay. awesome possum is more obnoxious than Bubsy. Oh my fucking god. Awesome, pup awesome possum kicks Dr. Machino's butt? Where is A on an SNES controller? It's the right button. Or the bottom button. Uh, yeah, I think it's the right button. The B right... is the button below, X is the top button, and Y is the button on the left. At oh, least I... that's what I think it yeah. is. I play too much Xbox, so I, I get confused because they mix it up for legal reasons or some bullshit. Anyway. 
Yeah, don't Nintendo have like a pay attent on the X, Y, B, whatever button? I don't, I don't really care. They had a patent on the D-pad, but they don't anymore. It expired. Yeah. Isn't that why like the the Xbox One D-pad or something is not complete garbage anymore oh, compared to the 360? Good job, Ragni. Uh-oh. I'm gonna get... You can tell I never drink because... <laughs> uh, usually when I drink, I don't get beers that require you to, uh... Well, I always pick beer that you can open with your bare hands, because to hell with, uh, using, uh... I, what do you I call didn't... these things again? I stained Dicket all my clothes. Floor. This is a disaster. This, this fucking game is cursing me. This entire day has been <laughs> nothing but shit. Oh my god. Does this game... You did this to me! <laughs> yes, I know. I know I'm a bad friend. You're gonna have to. Uh, uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say a bad this. friend. <laughs> I mean, it would assume we're friends. I'm kidding. <laughs> I couldn't never. Okay, so I guess I'm drinking most of a, of a Nefermural Unibrew. Um. There's not much that went away. Uh, this is the first beer. I left the, the others in the fridge because there's no reason to have them get warm. Yeah, but since it's Bob Z, I figure we might as well keep them closed. Who knows? Does this game have sound? Uh, yeah, it does. Because there's no... Wait, hold on. Yeah, there's I two games! There's... Yeah, just stick with the first one. The second one, I'm not even gonna subject you to it because it's complete garbage. You say that, but you bought, I mean, they, they're in a package. I can't not, I guess I'll, yeah. I love, I mean, I love how obviously they just stuck in an SNES 9X, a version of SNES 9X on Steam. Like, barely yeah. modified to just not allow you to load other ROMs. This is I mean, loud. that is completely... I mean, this is completely the release that Bubsy deserves. Yeah, this is like... Okay, this is less loud. Oh, dear. In hey, claws, and claws and counters of the third kind. There's not I'm enough not even puns. <laughs> well, don't worry, the puns are coming. Is there actually, like, dialogue in this game? Like it possibly, go wrong. Oh. Well, Bubsy has, like, quotes at the beginning of every level. Wow, most actually, of them are just horrible puns. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay. Like it possibly, go wrong. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> okay, well, this seems like a normal platformer. I don't really know... What the fuck is this? Okay, this is like a bouncer thing. This is... Yep. You can bounce off trees, you have a glide button that allows you to have a smoother oh, landing. This is what that does, okay. This is all it yep. does. Is he like... A squirrel? Cats don't glide? That's a squirrel, like a... <laughs> well, he's a bobcat, and you all know that bobcats are very recognized for their gliding abilities. Yeah, sure. I, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. This person has the right point. To be fair, Hitchinus also don't glide. Echidnas? Yeah, like uh, Knuckles. Like Knuckles. Yeah, I guess. I mean... And also, hedgehogs don't run fast. So I guess there's a theme in mascot games. You have to pick an animal and then make him beat something that's completely contrary to the animal. <laughs> Is that how it works? Did I get that right? Yeah, uh, you... Yeah, usually, I mean, you had the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, they would just eat a shitload okay. of pizza, but... Can I just comment on those controls being garbage? Because it's very weird to describe. It's uh, like, yeah. Okay, in a normal game, like, you assume you go right by pressing right and you go left by pressing left, but this game has a weird momentum. Like, okay, I'm going right, I'm jumping, and I'm going back left, but there's still the... the the going right momentum when I stop, like, mid-jump. Yep. It's really weird. I... This is like, I've never programmed a game weird, and I have no idea how to program junk physics. This yeah, is... but that's pretty much a lesson on how to not do it. Yeah, I just am baffled. 
And right here, we're not even really looking at how bad things are going to get because whenever the game will require you to do precise jumps, well, okay. just remember, you're going to have to deal with this moment. <laughs> and people say Castlevania is too hard. What happened? <laughs> Why did, oh. why did I die? You get killed by a gumball machine! <laughs> Bubsy! <laughs> oh, yeah. Did it bring me back at the very beginning of the stage? What is this? No. Why can it I not It brings pick you it up? back to the. Oh, that, that's a checkpoint okay. that you already picked up. All that right. means that you picked it up, and when you die, you'll restart here. Fair enough. This game has checkpoints. That's more than I expected. Oh no! Why. Yeah. Why is the music cue? Also, you read that from Sonic Levels. This, <laughs> wow, this this is really obnoxious. This is the worst yep. way to do a music cue. Did they just put a, a, like a checkpoint like three meters away from the previous one? Yeah, the first parts of the game put checkpoints pretty much willy nilly. Well, because you know it's the beginning. You gotta be. Uh... You can't make a yeah. difficult. You, you gotta have a difficulty curve. Oh yeah, this game has a difficulty curve, all right. It's not the best one, but hey, at least I guess it has one. Uh, where am I going? Okay. Yeah, for the most part, this game uses the good old laws of uh, basic platforming, which is go right. Okay. Uh, oh god! <laughs> oh, there, wait. There's there's fall damage? Yep. Oh, goody. Yep, you're a cat, but you die if you fall down too fast. I A platformer with fall damage. A platformer yep. that tries to be fast, like Sonic, but with fall damage. That's a bold idea. <laughs> Isn't that very inventive? Yeah. And really s bad momentum. Oh, he hates water because he's a cat. <laughs> Fine, whatever. I can buy that. <laughs> Hold yes. At all thought out, no. <laughs> uh. This is the first day. Okay, um. I'm noticing something. I'm dying in one hit. Yep. This is normal. Like the the game doesn't have like okay, the game doesn't have a uh, uh, help oh. or something like that. <laughs> and yeah, by the way, it's uh, totally a one hit death game. Uh, like I don't get rings or a bubble to protect me or nope. A mushroom. Nope. You have no protection whatsoever. You're doomed to die in only one hit. For the Empire, Basically, okay. your only saving grace is that you have nine lives to start the game. Oh, because he's a cat, get it? Yep. I mean, that's more than most games gave you at the time, so whatever. I can get behind that. I'm gonna have to do yep. a leap of fate, aren't I? Okay, that's not yep. so bad. Bananas. Yeah, most of the gap is already covered. No, what the... You're the most slippery cat. Why did that... Ah, uh, yeah, you collided against the enemy on the side, so I guess that's why you died. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, yeah, only, we're not even done with one the... hit Because they couldn't figure out invisibility frames. Yeah, I guess. Probably, I mean, I the know. sequel has health, but the thing is, almost everything else in the game is way worse than in this game, so that's why Bubsy 2 is even less worth playing than this one. I'm gonna get buzzed before the end of the first level. Yeah, I was actually telling to your viewers, I hope that Rangney's not gonna drink every time she dies, because otherwise <laughs> things are gonna go bad. Is the water... Rising? Yeah, water is lethal, so you have to get out before you drown. Why did you- uh, Oh no! <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Like this, okay, I just you want to point out. Out. This game is pretty creative at how many death animations it has. I think it put priorities on the wrong thing, though. <laughs> Maybe death yeah. animations are not the thing you should spend most of your time on. 
Oh yeah, by the way, the person who was the lead designer on this game spent a lot of time playing Sonic in order to have, like, feelings in order to how to make a game, so... This person played Sonic and I mean, was like, okay, this is how we make it better. I mean, that's not a bad idea, but it doesn't look like you were successful. <laughs> Yeah, and now you died because you, your head touched the feet of an enemy. Yeah, yeah, I did. I'm just... It's oh, like, God, when know. there was a race of that, we all agreed that in order to do it, we needed to have infinite lives, and even then the game was still unbearable. I have a question. Yes. When you lose all your lives, what happens? Uh, you have a game over, and if you have any continues, then you're asked if you're going to use one. Oh good, this game has continues. Yeah, but they're very rare, and for the most part, they're very hard to collect. There's only one continue in the game, which is a complete freebie, and you picked it up a while ago. It's near the end of the level. It's like, it's the rotating little red arrows. That <laughs> means it's a continues. Can I just say... I think it's kind of weird and interesting that video games just at that time had this weird like currency thing going on with the lives and continues. Like why not just give the player more lives? What's the I mean I know continues are like the arcade thing, I guess. I don't know. I'm just having thoughts. I'm not already buzzed, shut up. I wait. <laughs> I don't need to drink. I won the level. Yep. Right, 222 yarn balls. Oh yeah, also as to what the yarn ball do, you probably picked up a shitload of them and you were like, okay, so what do they do? They so, cool? yeah, like coins? you get extra lives with them, but the thing is, you need to collect 500 of them in a single level. And you say the, the, the designer played Sonic, they didn't notice that you get a life after 100. Uh, oh god, okay, I thought you were dead here. <laughs> no, I guess not. But like, yeah. The physics are so weird that I'm, I, I keep wondering if my controller is having problems, but no, this, this is just this game. Yep, that's game design. I, you know, I'm not sure that's game design. I feel like... I think I died. Oh no! <laughs> Oh yeah, by the way, if you feel like you're going to die because of fall damage, make sure that you glide. As long as you glide, you're invincible to fall damage. Okay, sure, whatever. I was just saying, I'm not sure that's game design. This might just be the programmer, like, having no fucking clue how to do movement correctly. <laughs> Although, you know, game companies back then were really small, so the programmer might have been the designer. Who the fuck knows? I'm not gonna get to the credits, I'm not gonna care. <laughs> well, we're probably going to get to the credit, because at least, even though I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a hard time to get to the end of the game, at least there are hidden passwords for every level in the game. Oh but... good, there's a password system, so we can yeah. like, um, continue. Is there passwords for every level? Yeah, with that said, however, the game itself is only going to give you a password at every four levels. Why? Because <laughs> so why are they passwords for so like the passwords for every level were just like in the I don't know Nintendo Power Guide or something? Uh, something like that. I mean, I know that you don't get a password for the last level, but it appeared into a Nintendo uh, Power magazine. Also, make sure you get your checkpoint too. Oh, that's the I never realized it was the, like the exclamation mark. What do I do with this yep. like anvil thing? Uh, nothing. It's just something that you can jump onto or something. It has no point whatsoever. Okay, great. Good game design. Make an item with an icon that looks like it's important, but it's not. <laughs> or at least, if it's important, I never figured out what the hell it was. We need to find the, like, the manual of this game. It probably has the explanation. Uh, I don't know. But I don't know, now you kind of picked my curiosity. I finished the second level, I think. Where's Dr. Robotnik? And the equivalent of that is gonna or, appear Or should I say, Dr. Robotnik? <laughs> <laughs> is that not okay, his name right. in this game? More like a 
Nah, they don't really have a name or something. It's just a bunch of alien freaks or something. Are you something. sure people just don't know it? I'm sure it's in the manual. Okay, so right now the manual is just some really, really bad comic involving Bob Z. I'm not surprised. Didn't this game have like a cartoon, or at least a cartoon pilot? Yep. Shit. One cartoon pilot, and that that's was rejected. Where the <laughs> yep. Okay, so the actual manual of the game starts at page 19. Ah, you get a full comic, that's his value. Yep. Oh I'm my getting... fucking god. Are you okay, Psych? It's just like, there's a page in order to tell you, like, how to, uh... It's just like, documentation in order to make sure that the game is working and all of that, okay. and then Bob Z just stuck his head in the manual and said, Hey, wait a minute, I never saw this stuff before, who's the chowderhead writing this thing anyway? I was supposed oh, to get Stephen King for the manual, I it's in it. my contract! He's, he's Cranky Kong. Eh, uh, yeah, kind of, but not funny. <laughs> I didn't know Crocky Kong was funny. More like a bridge too short. <laughs> oh. Bridge too fur. So also, the, the entire manual is written in like first person. I mean, you know, <laughs> when you have a gimmick, you gotta stuck to it. Christ. Oh. Bubsy creators. This option gives credit where credit More is like due. Press short. up or down to see all the people who made me what I am today. One fantastic Bobcat. Okay. Enough said about other people, let's move on! Wow! Okay. I remember games that had manual- that had like comics in the manual and to just introduce you to the game. Um... I remember Flashback had one. More like a bridge too short. <laughs> I still have it, actually. Uh, somewhere in here. Uh, and it's, it's, it looks very silly, like the art style is weird. Um, what else had a, a comic? Uh, Beneath the Still Sky had a comic that just started the story. There, there were others, but I can't remember right mm. now. But I think it's a pretty cool thing to do. More like a bridge too short. Yeah, at least. It but sucks yeah. if your comic sucks, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I remember the Metal Gear Solid 3 comic. It was kind of fun. I like, because I like I like the um, the art style of Metal Gear Solid illustrations. More like a bridge too short. And I really I really wish they could figure out how to make a game with that art style. <laughs> As for me, I really want to see a game featuring the art style of Bubsy. T-shirt would have won. This controls. <laughs> <laughs> like yep, good thing the game gives a lot of free life. I can't believe I think that... Like, this is just... I'm just looking at this, playing this, and I'm like, wow, Perini is such a good game. <laughs> I can't oh. believe I, I ever... I, this game has a mechanic that, the, yeah, like, you press left or right to, like, run, and you run faster and faster. But if you do that, you're gonna die! <laughs> exactly! It's like, you can help things a little bit by holding no. a left and L and R, no, but no, it doesn't wait, what? help too much. What? Oh, come on, I jumped on that. Oh, hit detection. How does it work? You gotta make okay. You gotta make your head boxes slightly bigger than what you think they should be, just to be a little, you know, generous towards your player. Because otherwise, it feels unfair. Yeah, 
my favorite deaths on the game was where I will step down on piles of eggs and I will More die. Like I'm sorry, piles of eggs? Yeah. <laughs> Is that level two? Uh, you're going to see some in the next world, I think. How many worlds? So, I'm still in the first world, right? Yep. Oh my god. Each world is comprised of three levels. Oh my god, what? What? I, f I found a thing. Yeah, that's are, a cave. Are you serious? Yeah, sometimes they will allow you to skip forward in the level, and some other time they're just going to bring you backwards. Ah, they just allow you to skip forward. This is as well designed as Dark Souls 2, the color of the first sin. <laughs> yes, totally. It's no, the I... same kind of difficulty. Yeah, this. No, it's just I'm laughing because. Oh my god, this fucking controls. Ah! Go left. Ah! Oh my god, get away from me. So I played. I played Dark Souls 2 a little bit, but then sort of gave up on it, and then restarted with Scholar of the First Sin. So most of Dark Souls 2 that I know is the Scholar version, and apparently, from what I gathered, um. The dragon area, that that area with all the dragons, was so obnoxious to go through in Dark Souls 2 that in Scholar of the First Sin, they just unlocked the shortcut to the end right away. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. And it's like, I was surprised when I was playing because, like, what, the area is already finished? Why do I have a shortcut to the end? Yeah, wasn't that like a long featureless area that was full of nothing in the no, other one? No, it's the it's the place where with all the like floating islands and all the dragons flying above you. Yeah, I, thought it was I a just really don't cool remember place. the game too much anymore. I thought it's like the it's the most visually stunning area. Uh, it might not be like the best to play, but visually it's the like it's the one that looks the best. Oh, fuck it, now. <laughs> yep, you touched the yarn ball. This one particular yarn ball, it's dead. So it's like like a dog inside the the saucer? The yarn saucer? And these are little aliens. Are you sure that's not a dog because he's a cat? Nah, I, like, it looks like there's no dogs in either of the Bubsy games. It looks like it might be a pug or something. You know, it's hard to tell with pixel graphics. Yep. Alright, done with the first world, and we have three lives left. Yeah, the alien race that you have to deal with is called the Woolies. I really hope this beer isn't gonna stay my skirt because I like it. Mm. Hi, Whatever I'm still awake. Back. Fair conditioning. <laughs> or fur conditioning. Hey, whatever blows your hair back! Okay, I didn't read that. Oh, I remember this world from, um, uh, Bart Simpson vs. Aliens or something. Uh, I never played this game. I played this game on the NES because that's all I had. You know, that and bad news. <laughs> <laughs> The worst childhood ever. Bad okay, dudes. Okay, look, I had some bad games, <laughs> but I also had, uh, like, I also had Punch Out and Mario Brothers Three, and okay, at least Sword and Serpents. Wait, that's a shitty game. <laughs> okay, I don't Why know if I'd call it shitty, but it was it? it was not very easy. I never figured out how to finish Sword and Serpents. It was too hard. That just sounds like the board game. What is this? Um, is this a star? Am I invisible? Uh, yeah, you're invisible to enemies. That means that you can go right through them. Okay. Cool, I guess. Okay. Alright, roller coaster! Woo! Your hair back. Yep. You got cheese wheeled. Um <laughs> Am I supposed to go left? 
Uh, right. Okay, no, because I'm like... Always gotta go right okay, in this game. Okay, okay, sure. Okay, this is always go right. Okay, because, I mean, I was confused, because the thing sent me back, and I was like, maybe this is where I have to go? Nah, it was just here in order to, uh, boot you. Ouch. Oh, uh, no, okay, I'm fine. Wonderful recovery. <laughs> I think I saw a life. Yep, you have to ride into the little rocket ship. Yay, I'm doing well. Yeah, all of three lives in order to make it through these two stage, two stages and a half. This game is bad, but it's not... Yeah, but as a reminder, you're still in what I call the good part of the game. Excuse me? Yeah. Oh boy. I have to say, the first two worlds of the game really aren't all that bad. But later on, the game gets really bad. I didn't... Oh, Jesus. I didn't change my stream uh, title, did I? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. If only Bubsy was invisible, we wouldn't have to uh, deal with it. This is a really... This is a sneaking operation. We're distracting yeah. <laughs> the guards with a bad game. Oh, come on! Okay. Yep. Just, Isn't there's... it fun to get sniped by the same off-screen enemy three times in a row? Oh, game over. Yep, game over. It's time to go in the passwords. Um, do you have the passwords? Yeah, I prepared them all because I had a feeling we were going to need them all. Oh good, you're a real pal. I, I know, I'm glad I can <laughs> count on you. <laughs> So, oh, yeah, you have to press select in order to go to the menu. Oh, okay. I, I was confused. Um, yeah, because if you push start, you're going to restart the entire game. Uh huh, okay. Accolade. <laughs> what else have they made if they have? I honestly don't remember. Enter so, all right. Bugsy Creators! Yep. Like it possibly. You no, wanna see shit. those credits? Oh. I was I was pushing start to see that and it just started the fucking game. Nah, I think you have to press like A or something. I did. B or it, didn't, a. it didn't do anything. <laughs> Who cares? Uh, maybe select again? I don't know. Who cares? I don't know, this game is kinda weird. What are you saying? This game? Uh, this is passcode. Okay, so what's the passcode? Alright, so for level 4, password is MKBRLN. Mortal Kombat Brooklyn. I don't think that's a valid puzzle code. <laughs> uh, can you repeat the last two? Uh, L N. M K B R L N. Yeah, N has in. Uh... Nancy. Yep. Chapter four. Okay. What? Yep. No, whoa, oh, fucking hell! I have to run through it again. Ah no! Fuck! We have to redo it again. B K. Yeah. I pressed select MK. again, because I thought this menu wants me to press select all the time. Yeah, also it was MK. Oh, right. MK. MK... Yeah, MK... B... R... L... N. B... R... L... N. Yep, Microsoft... Br uh, Mortal Kombat Berlin. Hey, N. M as in Mancy. Yeah, Mancy. Have you ever watched Archer? Uh, no, I really don't watch uh, TV that much, I have to say. Oh, I'm just curious. It's a show. It's, it has dumb jokes. Yeah, just like Bubsy! Uh, no. <laughs> it probably has better jokes than Bubsy. Like, I'm not even well, a fan of all of them, but... <laughs> I don't think anything is as bad as Bugsy right now. <laughs> I keep thinking I have to press the bu the light button to kill enemies, but no. Nah. 
that's just like mental conditioning from too many video games. <laughs> mental conditioning go? from video games that were good. This goes to the opposite direction. Oh, oh. but look, you got a bonus. Isn't that nice? Yep, all of these yarn balls. Yeah, that's kind of a shitty tunnel. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, also what? when you're on top. Okay, hey, explain that one oh. to me because that one did not make sense. Yeah, because if you stay in a roller coaster cart when it drops off the tracks, you die alongside with it. But wouldn't it make more sense to let me jump while the cart is falling? Nope. <sighs> Fucking game designers. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm sorry, Smash Dice cool. we cannot do any promises. We cannot make the music stop. Ow. <laughs> Oh, oh no! I just want to note that I'm almost done with the first beer. <laughs> and this one, yeah. this was the one with the least alcohol. Yikes. The, the two next have a lot more alcohol in them. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Eh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, what? No! That did not make sense! <laughs> yeah, you hit the side of the car. <laughs> oh, the car kills you when it runs over you! Yeah, except you ran on the car and that's what he does. <laughs> that makes sense! Bumsy. That makes so much sense! Yeah. <laughs> well, now, now that I know, I won't make the same mistake again. Yeah, just disembark from the cart early, because it's a death trap on wheels. Death trap on wheels... Batman... <laughs> <laughs> right, now All beware, right. because you were... Yep, you got killed by that same off-screen enemy again. There's no way you can see this coming. Yeah, you have to look up... And that's only when you're going to see the eggs, but hey, that requires you to completely ignore the fact that the game apparently wanted you to play this game fast because hey, your character is really fast and stuff, but hey, if you go fast in this game, you die. Okay. Why are you using your foot? This is weird. Don't do that. Oh, why did I do this? Okay, that's fine. That's not yep. fine. You glid! Hey, whatever blows your hair back! Ah! You got frozen by ice cream and then you got ra ran over okay. by the cheese Okay, seriously, weed. why is this chapter called Fair Conditioning, not Fur Conditioning? I don't... Uh... I don't understand the plot. I don't even understand the title. Well, because it takes place in a fair and it's the fair? conditioning... Yeah. But what's the pun? There should be a cat pun or a fur pun or something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> fur conditioning? That would be a pun. They did not make it. I don't understand. Yeah, it's like sometimes they do puns and sometimes they don't. But hair con... I mean, yeah, hair conditioning, I guess, but he doesn't have yep. hair, he has fur. Hey, whatever blows your hair back. Oh, <laughs> So I died. Yep, you died because you jumped at an angle on the card that the game didn't like. Also, I fell on spikes, I think. Um... But yeah, at least, yeah, one thing, however, with this game is that when you kill enemies in this game, after you lose a life and go back to life, the enemies really? stay dead. Huh. Yep. That's weirdly generous. Yeah, so if you kill an unfair enemy and you die, at least you can rest assured on the fact that they're going to stay there. Oh, this is not going the right way. Yeah, Whoa! Just in the okay. Uh, oh! oh! Okay, here we go. Alright, level 4 complete. 
We're done with the first level of the carnival. Hi, if I'm not making sense, this is why. Why is it a pun on hair conditioning? Because! Hey, I thought I saw Elvis back there. Night of the Bobcat. My phone rang. Hello, please stop playing Bob Z, thank it's you. My cable. No. Yeah, the first game is definitely more generous. More generous with the uh, with the puns compared to other games. The puns are only gonna come later. Yeah, I'm checking my phone on stream. Hell yeah, I'm cool. The first game. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. All right. Welcome to the carousel with the weird animals that will kill you if you touch them. Well, everything kills you if you touch them. Yep. But I don't know. I'm not even really getting why the attractions in the park will kill you. Because it's a video game. I don't know. Also, I never could figure out how to get to this continue set. Oh, let's continue? Yep. Maybe there is no way. Have you thought about that? Maybe this is just a... a red hair. Maybe. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Yep. Ooh, think fast! I can think fast. Look, I'm figuring this game out. I'm very good at this game. <laughs> Also, to talk about Bob Z, we first need to talk about Parallel Furniverse. No, we don't. <laughs> You're just saying that. Oh, shit. Hey, I thought I saw Elvis back there. No, you didn't see Elvis, you just saw some... I don't... Why am I here? Oh, yeah, because the, the checkpoint for some reason sends you here. Also, but fun fact. Not... But that's not the checkpoint that I- Is this a bug? Did I just find a bug? The checkpoint takes you to the wrong place? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure that's intentional. If Shut up, I found a bug! It's my job! I'm a tester! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna oh, yeah, write a bug report. Bug. Oh yeah, speaking of bug, there is one amazing bug into this game. There's one checkpoint in the level of the game that if you pick it, but you don't kill the enemy that is nearby, what will happen is that whenever you'll respawn, you will spawn inside the enemy and you will die instantly. That's and a pretty good bug. the cycle will repeat until you lose all of your lives. You'd be surprised how many games do this in um, like early stages. Although, I, of course, that's why I'm here. So it doesn't make it public on the release. <laughs> Alright, we're back to where we were. Wasn't that fun? Mm. <laughs> okay. Oh, I got owned by. Hey, I thought I saw Jeez. Elvis back there. Yep, cheese wheel. <laughs> Are you gonna report this bug? Yes, they'll finally fix it after all those years. Oh, they never fix it after release. <laughs> you know, also I'm considering that we're talking about a game from 1992. The card isn't even moving. Why would that hurt me? Because that's the Bubsy magic. I'm 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 reporting this as a bug too. I'm sorry. <laughs> Might as well just report the whole game as a bug. I don't care if they send it back as design. I'm still writing the bug. 
<laughs> like possibly, you're right. Oh, right. Can I have a password, please? Uh, yeah, there's a password for uh, level 5 to try it again. Or we can press on and skip to level 6. No, I'll try to finish the, the level. Alright. And yeah, I think whenever we start a level, I think the first uh, order of affair should be to, to put a safe state at the beginning of every level. But that's not authentic. <laughs> I don't care about authenticity, this game doesn't deserve it. Actually, you should write the password in the chat, because I can actually see the chat, and you won't have like to oh, yeah. repeat it a thousand yep, times. that's a good idea. For my drug Alright. Yep. Alright, I just posted it. Le Brund. Okay. Yeah. Le Brun nerd. Brun. Label nerd. That's a pretty good uh, music company, Label Nerd. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, do you want those glasses that people are never gonna want? Come to Label Nerd! This music sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I have it, to say. It just occurred to me right now. This music sucks? <laughs> yes, it does. I could really go from some, like, crystal caves or something. It's like, it's got a pretty atrocious midi set. Or, or chemical city, or... I know, fall damage! I back there. Yeah, in order to, to finish this game, I needed to uh, use the passwords on every level that you don't have, because that was not a thing that existed in the actual game. Because the game is not kind enough to offer you passwords at every level. <laughs> Bubsy's unappealing in the hallway. I don't know. It's like... This is what kind of strikes me about this game. This could have been a good game. But it's just ended up being fucked up in so many ways that it just I mean, ended up being... Every game could have been a good game if it had been better. <laughs> yeah, I guess, but I mean, it no, has good it's animation. Not, it's, it's, yeah, I suppose. I is this good animation? Mm, it's okay, I guess. It's obnoxious. Yeah. Could have been it, a it, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, could have been a passable, if completely unforgettable, uh, forgettable game. Hey, I I oh, this is instead... <laughs> Yes. It's unpassable and it's unforgettable. After you've bobbed once, you never forget it. I, you know, I'm just like... I wish I were playing Mega Man Minus Infinity right now. <laughs> that was a good game. It had hearts. It, it had it had a lot of passion poured in, into it. Like every every bullshit part of that game was made passionately. <laughs> well, I don't know. I think this game also hates the player pretty passionately. Oh but no no! This game has a lot of just lazy and incompetent like design and programming. It's not the same. You know, there's, <laughs> there's a difference between this game, which is lazily made. Poorly made. I don't want to use lazy because that's taboo. I don't know. Also, not <laughs> not always okay. fair. But it, it's poorly made. It's it's not well conceived. Whereas something like Minus Infinity or Brinny or I don't know some of the Castlevania games are very hard. But you can see you can see what they were going with their design. You can see they put a lot of work into making. In into making it a challenging game. This is just garbage. But, well, they definitely put a lot of effort into making this a hard game by no, not doing that's, anything that's, right. That's the thing, that's the thing. It's not it's not difficult to make a difficult game. Because you you didn't put the effort to like check all the hitboxes so you die in unfair reasons. Or 
you didn't care about the level design, you do all this shit where, you know, you have an enemy that snipes you in a way you cannot possibly see him. This is what I mean by lazy. Uh oh. I drank. The beer is empty. I gotta get a new one. Oh god. <laughs> oh my goodness. Brave refuse of Bubsy! It's got a lot of levels! Sure does have animations! What other rave reviews could there be about Bubsy? I don't know, honestly, I'm trying to. <laughs> this victory music! Okay. I'm shush about my liver. I drink one. I drink these beers once a year. Whatever. And that's all I drink. <laughs> I'm gonna do this over the sink. These are not cheap beers. Alright. <laughs> okay. Yep, yeah, that's a perfect review of Bubs. I hate this. Uh -oh. I missed what the chapter was called. Yeah. It's called Our Furless Leader, and Bubsy says, Shun be fearless. Uh oh. No. <laughs> Wait, Bubsy won an award? Everything. Electronic Gaming Monthly's most hype for a character? Yeah, okay. Can I just interject right here? Every time there's an award that's like, most anticipated or most hype, I'm like, fuck you. That's not an award. <laughs> that's just marketing. Yeah, it's like, what the fuck will be hype about Bubsy? No, oh, but I mean... choice award for being fun but non-violent. I don't know, it's kind of violent. Or at least it makes children violent. Does it? Mm. No, but I mean, like... Ah! You see this shit all the time. Oh, most anticipate... Oh, Battlefield, most anticipate... Oh, Call of Duty, whatever. The game is not out yet. This is not an award. You cannot make... You are awarding marketing. The only reason it's anticipated is because some stupid trailer made you hype, and like, that's fine to feel that way, but that's not something to award! <laughs> that said, you gotta give the marketing some kudos, because holy shit, how could you make this any appealing whatsoever? I don't know. They paid someone, that's how. They paid someone to give them this, this award, that's, that's how marketing works. For something. I, I just... I, I've oh. died like three times without drinking. Oh yeah, Electronic Gaming Monthly gave it an 8 out of 10?! Why? Does, does Electronic Monthly still exist? Uh, I hope not. I, you know, it's... Again, I'm sure it was just marketing, can you please? Uh-oh. Hi, Glinda! Hello! I miss you! <laughs> I, don't, I forgot what I was saying. Uh, yeah, me too, honestly. <laughs> what was we talking about? <laughs> I don't know what we were talking about. I know we we're talking about Bubsy and. Of course it we are! Awful, but... I'm playing this. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Marketing. Oh. That's right. Marketing sucks. Oh. <laughs> Oh, furlessly. Oh, you had to be hanged in the face, but you also had to fall on fucking pincushion. I hate marketing. You, you cannot understand how much I hate marketing. Just... Also, Binak essay, the reason why this is happening is because, well... I gifted Rainy this game a shit long ago, and in order to celebrate her birthday, which was earlier this week, well, here we go, we're playing Bubsy! Uh -oh. Oh. Also, he's a bobcat. Do bobcats have yeah. short tails? Yeah, I don't know. He's just tucking his tail into his t-shirt, because that's what cool cats do. Or at least that's what the designer thought. He's a cool cat with attitude! Oh, 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 oh. Uh, wait, why did Bubsy sound in French? I don't know. Why do you <laughs> sound French? <laughs> well, it's part of my heritage. Oh, there was a thing here. I, I... Oh, I'm not even I mad anymore. Crack. Uh oh. So. What I really want to know is who voiced Bubsy? Uh, good question, honestly. Time to actually go look this up. Uh, I bet it's just like a programmer or someone because who the, right. they wouldn't Bubsy hire an actor. Voice actor. That's just useless. That's a waste of money for like I don't know. There's maybe ten levels, so ten lines. Okay, apparently the person who voiced Bubsy in the first game is called Brian Silva. I don't know what that so, bubble Also on the picture Also on the picture that was posted, he's, he just looks like a really depressed teenager. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, he was the voice for Bubsy, so I think he has good reasons for being depressed. Yeah, it's like Bubsy is so bad that from one game to the other, they couldn't even keep the same voice actor. So it's been voiced by three different people for three games. I'm pretty sure it's just because they just got whichever teenager was closest to them at the time, and that's it. Actually, the person who voiced Bubsy for Bubsy to actually seem pretty elders. You know, elderly teenager, who cares? Yeah. A person. Nah, uh, it it's probably another Brian Silva. It, it's not the. Uh, it's not. Oh my God! Kabuki voiced Bubsy. Nah, that's canon kind of now. I was just gonna go. Okay, hold on. No. I need. I need. No, uh... because stand-up comedian. I don't think he's a stand-up comedian. Began working as a voice actor for commercial spots on KSFM Morning Zoo and later served as a member of K Roy's Junior in the Morning Show. Yeah, that's not uh, who we think it is. But hey, you can definitely uh, kill him for sharing the, vo the name of somebody who uh, was a uh, Bubsy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I'm yeah, sorry. the name is exactly the same. I I know that there's people out here with oh, several shit. names. I know somebody in the world has the same exact name than I do. <laughs> and apparently they're very good at uh, I mean, skiing. You have a pretty common name. Yeah. Okay. Um. What's the password? <laughs> All right. Hold on a bit. Uh, gonna post this in the chat. <laughs> Fireball is pretty common. I'm not talking about this name. Well, don't you know? Eyeball is like the number one name in all of Quebec. Everyone, <laughs> a, everyone is named Eyeball, 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 Eyeball. <laughs> My real name is Eyeball Johnson. Hello. Full audio or mute or sound effects only or music only. Wow, this game is full on. Options. 
Yep. You, you couldn't put meters, that was too hard to program. Nah, back in the time, um, games usually did not have meters. I, don't I think it's actually a good luxury that this game even has that, because usually you don't really have that. What's the password? Uh, I posted it in oh, the chat. Oh, sorry, I didn't see it. <laughs> I see it now. Yep. Is this is that spam? Oh, spam oh. people. Whoops. Do you have a. Uh... Are you able to ban people? Well, I don't know if it's. Uh... I don't know if it's spam because apparently it's it's a picture of someone who oh. just wrote on a piece of paper, Hi, Paul Rang. Okay. So, I'm. I don't know. I'm. Guessing to incline that it's uh Let me see, I suppose. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this must be spam. This is spam, this is an automatic like this is a you know automatic font. Just um ban them. Alright. There we go. Yep, there like, we go. If if it you know if it wasn't spam, they would have at least gone through the trouble of spelling Pauline instead of the other name. Uh, yeah. That be uh -oh. Well, the channel's called Paul Rangney, so their name must be Paul Rangney, right? This is, this is just, um... This is, you know, this is one of those pictures where the... You can just... Like... Write whatever you want, and the font adapts or whatever. I can't explain things. Can I post a picture of what I think Psychedelic Eyeball looks like? He looks like a normal person. Yep, unfortunately. No. Don't say that. <laughs> oh! Here we go, the Fable Death Egg! Yes! You died oh, by stopping That's eggs. what the Death Eggs were. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty For sure- For some reason, if you- I'm pretty oh. sure I died to those earlier. Really. Uh oh. Yep. <laughs> He's a plush kicker of the We've established this. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather play a game about the strong pick. Oh, yes, I'm playing, you stupid cat. Now we've reached a part of the stream where we just make Bubsy die over and over again. Do the thing. Do the thing. No? I don't. Uh, you have to jump oh. from uh, higher than that in order to trigger it. That makes sense. It actually makes sense. Yeah, the only thing that makes sense in the entire game. Shouldn't that be fearless? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid fucking game. No, oh, there was a checkpoint all the way on top of here. Oh no, there was lives! I, no! I missed it, I'm sorry. It's like this is a game where lives are so precious because this, hey. this game I'm gonna have to put like um epileptic warning on the video. Fuck you. <laughs> How come? Because it's just flashing <laughs> lights, I don't know. Nah. These are pretty mild lights. I don't think that these uh, will cause epilepsy. It's, it's in this like... NES game, any of those can cause epilepsy. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, if we are to put a epilepsy warning on the SNES game, we will have to put the warnings on every kick. I will do that. I will also put a warning. Careful, very unfunny people talking. <laughs> oh, alright, so now I've got full clearance to land in my worst jokes. Oh, no. No, I'm not- no, not this time. 
Right. Uh. I dodged that, you fucker. Oh, okay, so these eggs somehow travel into an arc? These ones, I guess. I don't know. I never knew that. Wow, you learn things new every day. About Bubsy. Yeah, to be fair, it's not as if Bubsy's a game where I am especially looking for new things to discover, but... Hey, uh, ah, fucking firecracker! Okay, what am I supposed to do there? Uh, yeah, I think you have to go hop in the roller coasters. And then use the momentum? Fuck off. Shouldn't that be fearless? Uh, oh. <laughs> you know, I just realized... I just realized, last year, I played Freedom Planet, which was a pretty good game. It was, in fact, in, in the whole thing of mascot games, like, it's Sonic's fan or whatever, it was a pretty, it was the best it could ever be. And then I played the bottom of the garbage bin. <laughs> yes. What happened to Honestly. Yeah, honestly, I'm kind of surprised that you even went with this of all games to stream. I don't group. know. I thought it would be funny. Well, I guess it is for the I people watching. Oh, but fuck. It... Um... Yep. All right. Uh, whoops. Nope. That's not what I wanted to post. I think, I think someone posted it. Uh, or you posted it. Uh, there you go. I got it. Oh, okay, somebody posted it again. Okay, that's fine. Why does Bubsy 1 have, like, a really long, um, subtitle, and then Bubsy 2 is just Bubsy 2? Uh, because the people who made Bubsy 2 simply did not care. Really? And this is very damning, considering what you're looking at right now. <laughs> it's just like... Imagine if the game that you're playing right here could be somehow worse. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I don't know. But maybe it was the same people and they were just so tired of this shit. <laughs> I, I kinda need to, to look it up. This port is lazy because it's not a port, it's, it's literally SNES 9X. With yep. the ROM inside. It's the ROM file. Just yep, put it's a ROM scene. file. Yep. And 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 they barely changed the emulator just to remove the options that allow you to play other games because that would be kind of bad. Yeah, and in fact, even when the game just came out, there were a lot of people who even debated the legality of it. Uh, being able to even do that. Well, like, I looked it up, I mean, I looked it up a bit. I know Slowbiff did, also, and the the legal terms of SNES 9X are really nebulous. It's like, you can't use this for commercial purposes unless you ask one of these people and they say it's okay, so that's not really... that's really kind of nebulous. Yeah, they it's said like, that they did, but hey, all that we're having is their word. No, but I mean, it's like, you can't use SNES 9X for commercial purposes, or unless sometimes maybe you can, I guess, I don't know. Oh my god, you almost got hacked again by the fucking church through the wall. Ah, no, you were so close to the second part of the level. So close. Yep. After that, you get into... I think one of the best parts of the game, because it is a maze, and everybody loves those, right? No. <laughs> this music sucks. And even then, I think it's still one of the best tracks of the game. I don't believe you. Uh, you will see, you will see. <laughs> I don't think this jump is possible. I have to go above. Like, I yeah, you have to go up the. End. Yep. Uh -oh. Honestly, I cannot wait for the next world. In fact, I'm gonna have to unmute the stream because, uh, yeah, the music uh, on that world is just hypnotic. Really? Yes. What kind of roller coaster is this? It's a cartoonish roller coaster. No, it's a 
Hell. You know, it's... Haven't you ever, like, read the, the Divine Comedy? There's just all the circles of hell, like, lust, anger, Bubsy, gluttony. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Bubsy's like the eighth layer of hell. They, like, they even, Electronic Arts even made a game about it. Don't you remember the Bubsy level in, in Electronic Arts Dante's Inferno? <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it was actually a thing. <laughs> Bubsy's my favorite circle of hell. Right, don't forget to jump whenever you get to the end of the I, thing. I Here got, we go, alright. I got the checkpoint. Okay, yep. so... Now we have eight lives in order to make it through the, through the maze. Okay, well, I mean, I think I can take a maze over bullshit platforming. Uh, there's also bullshit platforming in Thirst Thirst Win and all this, don't worry. Yes, there is. Two doors. Yep. This is like some Mario Ma two. This is gonna be some Mario Maker bullshit, like one door is just gonna lead to spikes. Nah, at least the designers don't go that low. Really? Is this door gonna go anywhere? I would assume not, but... Mm. It's not a small maze, it's not your baby maze. Um, oh, oh thanks, that was fair. Uh, what the fuck? Are you gonna do anything? I cannot actually, like, I cannot control where my jump goes. There we go. Okay. I can't control how high I jump, so every time I would just jump to that. Platform. This is very. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm fairly certain that's not where you have to go. Uh, oh. No, no. Thanks. No. Just, no. <laughs> also, what do you mean we're still at the fair? Have you even looked at this? I mean, how, how could it be otherwise? Hey, well, you know, maybe I'm good at shitty games. I mean, I did play Bad Dudes and... What's the other one? Bard vs. Oh, Simpsons. Yeah. Bard Simpson vs. the Space Mutants. Oh, this is a star, okay. Yep, that's the star man of the game, but hey, too bad that you're stuck in a maze, so you're not gonna be able to even remotely use it right. Okay. This is the worst star music. Like... <laughs> is there some sort of, like... Mechanism in you that when someone says this is the worst thing, you have to continue. Like, I guess. <laughs> yes. I don't understand. <laughs> oh, I can actually kill the thing. Yeah, you can kill the fire crack. I thought those were like instant kill, whatever you did. But I guess I was trying to apply logic to this game, so. Nah. That was a severe this mistake. This is Bubsy, where logic does not exist. Okay, that's... See, I told you a door would just lead to spikes. You lied to me. <laughs> well, at least you had the choice to avoid them. I had no idea those were spikes. Like, I just see a crate with an item symbol on it. I'm like, is this gonna be a power-up? Ice cream and hot dog shouldn't be enemies. Well, actually, the ice creams are not really big enemies because they don't kill you if they touch you. They just freeze you for a while. Okay. As far as I know, it's like the only enemy in the entire game that doesn't kill you upon being touched.
All right, back at the firecracker, the the firecracker divide. What was that? Oh, it's uh, it's a thing of rule or something. I don't remember what it's called. The manual calls it, I think, the Rulatron something. Rule gas metron. Huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that was the bonus game. I hope you enjoyed it. What? What happened? Yeah, that was a bonus game. But why did it happen? Well, yeah, just... Some doors are programmed in order to make you go into them. Just turns out that the door leading back is also the door leading to the bonus game. Uh, yeah, I think you're on the right track. <laughs> this game, this now, this maze doesn't have checkpoints. Uh -oh. Nope. The only saving grace is that I just kill all the enemies. Yeah, with that said, there's still an egg thrower left. <laughs> So what do you mean Zul's better than the Bubs? Everything is better than the Bubs! Yeah, I... Did I die? Nah, you just got dizzy. <laughs> this boat is just here in order to make you waste time. <laughs> Take that, you <laughs> dumb cat! <laughs> this is oddly satisfying. And now time to run the time limit all the way down. Oh, there's a time limit. Yeah, you have 10 minutes to clear every level of the game. I don't remember where I went. Uh, I think you have to go in this one door. Okay. The red the or one the on the top. Sorry. Uh, yellow. Now I think you go in the door that looks like a washing machine. A circle, like you just say a circle. <laughs> well, it just looks like a giant laundromat. <laughs> and yeah, I think in order to finish this, you have to go uh, forward. Of course I do. So I don't open that crate. I've already been. Yep. And yeah, notice how come the bananas are here in order to make you slide and lose control right where there's the box of tax. I did not notice, actually. I did not notice that's what the bananas did. Yep, the bananas make you slip. Oh. Whoops. I actually forgot the ice cream cone was there. Yeah, but it doesn't kill you. It was just... It, I, my mind completely blacked it out. I was just looking at yep. the two guys. Yeah, you got hit by the ice cream again, but hey, once again, ice cream does not kill you. Thank god. I don't know it's how like I could live. It's like the pointless enemy ever. I don't, I don't think I could live without ice cream. <laughs> I'm gonna eat ice cream after this. Okay. Should I hit the Oh yeah, don't forget the checkpoint too! Because there's a boss. Yep, that's the boss of uh, World 2, are you ready? It's a yarn ball. It's the same fucking yep. boss. Yep. It's the same fucking boss. <laughs> they have a yes. slightly different pattern. Yeah, and they're faster. And they have much narrower invincibility, yeah. Uh, vulnerability of windows. This is what I mean about priorities. Maybe instead of making like a bajillion death animation, Spend a couple hours making, like, other boss sprites. Uh, yeah, pretty sure Rangni can beat this boss in five lives. Yeah, it's not difficult. too difficult. I mean, it's pretty bullshit. Oh my god. Like, can I really do it? I'm not, I, I'm starting to doubt it, actually. Shouldn't that be fearless? Uh -oh. Alright, four lives is more than enough. <laughs> you say that. Also, one trick that helps in order to fight the bosses is usually just hold the 
the glide button for pretty much the entire fight in order to stay in the air all the time. And yeah, Rangi is technically a professional video game player. I... I... Sh the... I'm a professional... I... The, the official term is a quality assurance tester. I make sure games are quality. Well, That's I mean... That's exactly what we're doing right now. I... Essentially, I just tell game designers where, when they game don't work. And then they decide, do they fix it or not? Shouldn't that be fearless? Uh-oh. It's a lot of work. So what do you mean a second of something enjoyable in this mess of a game? Is there anything enjoyable? Uh-oh. <sighs> Alright, it's our last stand against Bubsy. I do not... Okay, first of all, I'm not allowed to say who or what I work for. Like, this is just the video game industry. You don't talk about what you work for. So, I cannot... Ah. I can neither deny or confirm that I work for Ubisoft. Actually, I guess I could say who I work for. I don't work for Ubisoft. Uh, second of all, Ubisoft games are very, very large games. They have a lot of testers. They have a lot of people uh, working on them. And I will... I think you have to understand that the reason Ubisoft games are garbage are not because of, like, specific people on it, it's because of the whole company. The whole company just has garbage policies about what they make. They still have, like, very talented people what working for them. It's just... I don't know. I don't understand their whole policies. But... I don't work for Ubisoft. <laughs> so what do I know? I... Can we skip to the next level? Yep, I posted the password to level 7. I think my point was just, it's never like... No, I'm drunk, okay? It's never the, 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 the fault of a specific person. It's not the fault of like a programmer or a tester. It's just... Big projects just fuck up because of big reasons. You know, it's a lot of complicated things. Also, Rayman is good. It's a good Ubisoft game. I just don't like Asgard. Yeah, Rayman Origin and Rayman Legend. Yeah, get those. I, you know what? I need to play um, Child of Light because I hear that's pretty good. Oh, it's okay. You posted it. Yep. Stur Sturgeons. Stage... Stage rotten. The stage is rotten. Well, it worked for Clint. It... what? Alright, chapter 7. What did the cat say? It worked for... Oh, Clint Eastwood? Is that what he means? Uh, yeah. I think he's just quoting Clint Eastwood now. Oh, I cannot jump on this guy because he has spikes on his head, sure, whatever. Yep. And he's so sad about it. Because he has no friends. Yep. Alright, either way, it's now time for me to unmute the stream in order to listen to the Texas music in its majesty. You said this was the good music. Hell no, it's not the good music, it's probably the most awful track in the entire game. I, I thought you said this was the good music. Uh, nah. <laughs> like I said, there's no good music in this game. But that said, you cannot accuse it of being unmemorable. The Texas music will accompany you no, forever. I, I sure can, this is shitty. I don't care. It's just like this fucking bench. Oh, okay. Oh, look, it's... No. He's doing the Roadrunner thing. 
The yep. Wiley Coyote thing. Yeah, I said that the fair music was the best music of the game. Why am I not playing like a Looney Tunes games instead? I mean, there were some of those that were decent. Oh yeah, that's right, the music on the Genesis is somehow even worse. Well, because the Genesis had a... <sighs> no, let's be honest, it had a bad sound chip. Like, some game developers managed to make good music out of it because of the whole, you know, like, enhance the restrictions uh, philosophy. But, compared to the SNES, it still had, objectively, a bad sound chip. So, yeah. when you just take music that you make for the SNES, and then just... Those are spikes. Well, it... Then just yep. adapt it, just, 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 you know, pour it straight into the Genesis without really rethinking the whole thing. Yeah, it's gonna sound shitty. <laughs> okay, we can at least give it that. The Genesis was awesome at making Hades hair metal. Are you just singing Thunder Force? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm singing. I'm just singing what I imagine Genesis music sound like. Well, it worked for Clint. Oh, killed by a giraffe. This funky giraffe. You know, I think I would rather be watching the good and the bad and the ugly right now. Well, it worked for Clint. That was a good movie. Have you ever watched it? Nope. It's kind of a hard movie to watch. It's... weird. Because every single time the ugly is on the screen, you cannot look at it because your TV's full of... You know, I never really... I, I don't really like... Clint. Uh, like, the, the title in, in French is Le Bon, La Brute et Le Truant. So it's like, yep. the good, the brutal, and the... And the fucking asshole. No, the truant is like, the bandit. The bandit. And I thought that was yeah. a better title than the good, the bad, and the ugly, because good, bad, okay. Ugly, that's not really, that doesn't really describe him, honestly. He's a bandit, that's what he is. I'm a bandit and I forgot my and I forgot my clothing at home. I did this again. These, these spikes are just strategically placed to fuck with you. Yep. Slow and very methodically boring wins the race. I don't know. Honestly, I think looking at this level of Bob Z, I feel like probably will be more fun to just play town with no name. No. I mean, I guess it would be over quicker. The deodorant has just failed. The only, the only reason is because it would be over quicker. Yep. I mean, you just arrive into a town and then you go immediately at the train station in order to leave. Yeah. Or you get yourself killed. Yeah, that too. It's not as if it requires a lot of effort to die in this game. Oh my god, a checkpoint. Yep. Too bad that it's probably not gonna matter because we only have one life left. Town with no name is not actually kind of funny. It is not funny at all. It is the, the worst kind of... Dumb shit. Yeah, it's just, it was so random. It's like, Is I've, it it's just the bottom of the barrel of what you could find on new grounds, except before that. The number yep. nine? Oh! Oh yep. my god, it's the mighty. just the mighty number nine. Now the game's never gonna come out. We just sabotaged the Kickstarter. Yep. Why am I going this Also, way? guess what? The level's not over yet! Oh, this, this, this didn't count as the end of the level. Nope, you're still in level 9. Because right. the levels of this world are all split into two. 
first part is a train level, and then afterwards you get into the canyon, which is somehow way worse in terms of playing because there's tons of cactus everywhere that insta kill you, and a whole bunch of really random stuff. So these weird prairie dogs that just have zappers. Oh, meaningful tunnel. Wait, what? What's the point of these bananas? Mm. Oh, okay. All right, invincibility. It'll be gone by the time I. the fucking environmental hazards?! Wow, fuck you, game! Yep, invincibility did. I have All a third right, beer, but I don't think I can drink it. Uh, yeah, just stop. <laughs> I, mm. Just stop with the drinking. Oh. Can I have level 10 password? Uh, yeah, sure. Alright, level 10. Oh, alright. I'm just gonna shotgun this, I don't care. <laughs> yep, let's have a quick peek at every level of the game and see how long it takes before we die. Alright, so next password is Microsoft Fax. Oh, it's my favorite eBots. It's my favorite Twitter uh, account. Oh! Uh, oh wait, uh, no, wait, 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 hold on a bit, I didn't send you the right password, I'm sorry. I actually thought for a second that worlds were consisting of, uh, four levels each and not three. Oh, okay. Oops. Oh, so the next password is Super Smash Brothers Brothers <laughs> That sounds about right, honestly. Super... Super Baseball Brothers Software Hostage Company. Uh. Also, what doesn't help with the whole password thing is that for some reason... Oh, okay, I thought for a second you were going to ban him. <laughs> oh no, it I'm like... Going. Really bad! Ah! I'm banning you for bang for asking me how the bugs are going. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, fistful of your arm. Go ahead, make my day. Now oh, we're not even going with puns, we're just straight up quote quoting Clint Eastwood. Great actor. Love it. You know what? Who is also a good actor? Bubsy! Uh, that's, that's a character. Kabooby is a great actor. <laughs> <laughs> and we collapse. Also, don't ask us what the hell the face mounts are. They're just... there, I guess. Okay, with that said, we're still doing better progress. Oh my god, two one-ups in a row. This game is so generous. <laughs> Four ones. Oh, I didn't actually see the ass. Yeah. Make my day. I mean, it's just so fun that the enemies are allowed to throw insta-kill projectiles when you cannot even see them. You know, if this game was made in the the era of the NES, the shit would not have been allowed because the NES was not equipped to handle that. Yeah. The developers used the powers of the SNES for bad. Ah! Oh, okay, alright. This 
platform is funky. Yeah, I don't understand these platforms. You just tap on them once and they just kind of have a mind of their own. They're just indecisive. Oh no. What? Go ahead, also, I never could understand what the hell this thing even supposed to be. Um, Edna from The Incredibles. <laughs> or maybe that's where they got the inspiration! Bubsy, the trendsetter! I, I don't know. Wait, did it just disappear or what? I, maybe. Oh, another extra life! Wow, holy shit! Yeah. Yeah, somehow you're making them despawn. <laughs> that is the Bubsy mating call. Oh, shut up. It's <laughs> <That's> insulting. <laughs> yeah, I apologize. <laughs> it's the number oh. nine train again. Why are we stepping yep. off if we're just gonna go back onto it? Yeah, and somehow it's got like three engine rooms and everything, and the train just looks different every single time. Because yeah, in level nine, it's gonna be yet again the the number nine. Yeah, look at Bubsy, it's so determined. Sorry. That's okay. Yeah, holy shit, we're now in the canyon and we still have all of our lives. Oh, okay, I guess I spoke too soon. Yeah, this music is only slightly better and even that it has a really obnoxious whistle, whistle uh, sound patch. Which is why, when I made a song using those very same sound patches that uh, the Bubsy Midi use or something, I overuse the hell out of the whistle. Oh, alright, triple trouble. First you got killed by eggs, then a UFO, then a... A sand shark. Yep. Is this like an actual pun or is this just random humor? Yeah, it's random humor, but hey, rest assured, now you finally jumped the shark. For Bubsy, that is. Yep, Bubsy, the superhero that gets killed by tumbleweeds. Not actually true. Um, there's tumbleweed, en tumbleweed enemies in um, Secret of Evermore. Although to oh. die to them is pretty stupid, like, you have to try hard. And I'm oh pretty God, sure there's tumbleweed enemies in other games. That's right, I just schooled you. On video game knowledge. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, I think it's this checkpoint. Okay, so yeah, right. kill the Woody, because otherwise you're gonna spawn inside of him. Okay, here we go, now it's safe. Yeah, because if you didn't kill this Wooly, I'm pretty sure that upon respawning, you will respawn inside the enemy and you will have died over and over again. Okay. Oh, and yeah, that was also incredibly obvious as to where you had to go. I am. Uh... Yeah, it is because now. as you've noticed, you spawn where the enemy used to be. Yeah. Which means that if he was still there, well, things would have been really bad. Dry kite eagle. I don't know. The Bubsy Air Force. Is Bubsy a Nazi? <laughs> I don't know. At this point, why not? 
just would not uh, surprise me in the slightest. I'm I'm getting worried, eyeball. What what are you getting? What are you <laughs> getting me into? Uh, we're getting in the dark side of the boobs. Uh -huh. How many levels are there? Uh, there's... Uh, wait, hold on a bit. Uh, there's... Five worlds plus a final level to the game. So yeah, there's 16 stages. This is... <laughs> yeah, he has the black shirt that makes Bob Zena racist. This is the third world. Yep. Yeah, now you're starting to notice that, well, you have these very tiny, narrow ledges that you can't really negotiate too well. Uh. Also, there's no clear indication as to where you have to go because you need to have the yarn balls to indicate where you go, except that these also don't respawn when you die. So, oh, your nice. markers just end up disappearing as you play. Welcome to the Asinius Whistling. I don't think that's what it sounds like. Are you okay, sir? Uh, I'm pretty much the uh, same as usual. Oh yeah, also that's another fun gameplay challenge. Guess your way through this maze with no indications or whatsoever. Okay, I went around the freaking door. Yeah, I don't remember how you get inside of that. Honestly, that's like the part of the of the level where I'm always like, okay, where do I go so that I don't die? Oh, all right, here we go. What's our reward? Right, you go again. <laughs> oh, okay. They call me Bubsy the Nutsy. Woo! Oh, <laughs> thanks, game. Really fucking helpful. <laughs> what the fuck? This is so dumb! <laughs> this is so dumb! They put the fucking markers in order to go into instant it! <laughs> you sure did. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you okay, Psych? Are you holding up? Yeah, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Stupid fucking game. Oh yeah, also what are you talking about with the miserable race, Vistivore? It was a blast! I mean, we had so much fun when we did it. Oh my god, I finished the level. Yes, you finish a Texan level. <laughs> awesome. So yeah, it's time to finally brag up to all of your friends that you completed the Texas level. <laughs> yeah, it was great when the game glitched out on me in the level one hand. <laughs> yeah, I remember that funny time. <laughs> Dances with Woolies, that's not a Clint Eastwood game. Movie. Oh yeah, remember the video game works of uh, Clint Eastwood. Well... Actually, that's an interesting question. Has... Has there ever been a licensed game of a Clint Eastwood movie? I don't think so. It's time to have a Western Spaghetti game. A game that takes. F that takes. Uh, oh, alright, and we're dead. They should make a, a game of. Uh, a, a licensed game about space cowboys. <laughs> alright, so. Alright, so do you want to. Tr 
try this level again, or sure, you... sure, I just started the level, I might as well try it. Alright. Yeah, I was wondering if I was gonna make you try the level again, or if I was gonna give you the password to the next world. Yeah, just give me this one. Okay, DBK... Bakum. Donkey Baboon Kong rides the red... bottle? I don't know. This is... The, when you try to... When you try to write the Patriots, this is what you write. <laughs> this is a reference you cannot understand, Eyeball, because you've never played Metal Gear. Yep, I've never played... <laughs> yeah, I said bottle, but I figured that bottle will also be appropriate. He said both. <laughs> you never know with me. My mouth is full of surprises. <laughs> oh my god! For fuck's sake! <laughs> I'm sorry, you distracted me with your mouth being full of secrets. <laughs> I don't know, I thought you were just laughing at the death because it was really dumb. Also, I suppose... <laughs> yeah, that's the fun part with Bubsy, it's suffering for the whole fan. Look at this combo! Yep, too bad that it's not worth anything to the game size. I mean, it would've been fun if you had a 1-up after stomping a lot of uh, enemies like you know in Mar- Mike? Yep. Okay, I'm, I'm, I thought you cut off. Nah, uh, I don't know, sometimes it happens when you have like a void activity for some unknown reason. Like, I don't know, maybe whenever I do these kind of things, I should have pushed to talk, but I'm too lazy to set it it's up. It's okay, I was, this is the only thing, time it happened. <laughs> oh, clearly this means that site needs to speak louder. <gasps> I'm Bobsy! <laughs> I shouldn't hit the dynamite. Okay. Nah, uh, dynamite crate just uh, propels you all the way upward. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> This music sucks. <laughs> yes, it totally does. Oh yeah, that's right. Dynamite is okay, but tax insta dead. <sighs> I have a yeah, plane to catch tomorrow. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's tomorrow. Even for it, friends tomorrow. It's tomorrow evening. It's, it's okay, it's so. Hey, what's going on, Bragni? You look tired. No, that's okay. I played badness in ES game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to tell a TSA agent. Yeah. <laughs> or whatever the whole wanting cat, whatever. What brings you here to France? Bubsy brings me. Hold on, I'll call the anti-terrorist cell. I, I I was more like gonna say I'm here to see my family. Also, <laughs> I'm a French citizen. I have the right to be here. Not anymore. Not after playing Bubsy. Oh shit. My contract oh. Not I didn't know that was a national crime. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. Now we kind of have a problem. How are we going to get on top of the train? Because I think you need the TNT crate to get on there. Oh good. But I now just... it. Yeah, except now it's go. <laughs> you see, okay. You know, this whole drinking every time I die thing works when it's a Mega Man game, and I die maybe like. I don't know, once, every once in a while, 
Not yeah, every but in Bubsy seconds. you die all the time. You spend more time dead than alive. In I'm starting game. to think this was a bad idea. Yeah, drinking on every death uh, not the best idea. Not for this game. After all, I don't want to get you sick or anything. Uh, ah, oh no, Bubsy. Ah. Yeah, you're really worried about it. <laughs> I don't know, I guess that's just the PTSD part of the stream for me. I'm sorry. I'm suffering from post bubsy stress oh. disorder. Oops. Okay. Yeah, it's like you need a running jump in order to get all the way up here, while you dodge eggs that are off-screen thrown by a jerk that you cannot see or anything. <laughs> Bubsy, prepare to drink edition. God, no, no. Alright, I'm totally working on this. I'm gonna have a Bubsy game where you have to put a needle in your arm, connected to an endless supply of liquor, and every single time you die, you have the Dark Soul thing that says, YOU DIE! And then it shoots some liquor deep right into your veins. Veins? It's a bit hardcore, don't you think? Yes. Okay, I don't want to do this level again. <laughs> That's fair enough. Too bad, because this level had a unique boss to hit, but I doubt we're going to see it. A so... unique boss? It wasn't just the two saucers with the, like... No! No, instead it's just one big UFO that spawns a shit ton of woolies that are, like, borderline impossible to avoid, and the boss has, like, only one fraction of a second of a vulnerability. Oh no, I can't believe I missed that. Sounds like such good content. <laughs> yeah, such good content indeed. But yes, I did a long play of this uh, way back a couple of years. Why? Uh, because people needed to see the bubs. Oh, you posted it. Yep. Yeah, now we're ha we're going into Microsoft Facts for you're real. So you're so efficient, unlike me. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think you can be efficient at bubs. That it, it no, cannot happen. There's no A. Nah. Who knows why, but... There's no... No, uh, Yeah. There's it's no vowels. Ifs. Yeah, there's no vowels. Why? Uh, I don't know. Maybe they just wanted to not have any sort of confusion. Bravely, bra beery? Yeah. Be, be very careful. Be very careful. Ah, yes. Be very careful. The sequel to Bravely Default. Yep. But the only class you can play has is Bubs. Also, oh my god, I can't believe how lucky you are. You lied. This is the worst music. <laughs> yeah, this one is also fucking bad. This whole world is a fucking abomination. Yeah, you need to do a running jump here in order to be able to make it there. Are they just using the tile set from the first world? Uh, in part, but yeah, rest assured this world is far more fiendish. They're just recycling sprites, they couldn't even be bothered to make, like, entirely... Why kill me? Oh, you got killed off-screen by the beaver snot or whatever the hell it is? Yeah, there is pits of water everywhere, and the second you fall into it, you drown. I don't think that animation was the right one, though. No. Nah, because when people drown, that's exactly what they look like. What hey! It? Oh, it's a geyser. Okay. Yeah, I, 
Why is the waterfall going up? Yeah, for some reason there's a bunch of these all over the place. This is frustrating because I'm like, I'm gonna do the Sonic thing of just jumping up this, but no, you can't. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, why is he doing this anime? This is a bug! This is another bug! I found a second bug. Shouldn't be doing that animation, it makes no sense. Uh, there is not a whole lot of things that make sense here. Fuck you, Beaver. Beaver and Butthead. Oh, and yeah, you just drowned in water that was as high as you. And yeah, by the way, if your feet just touch the water, you drown. Yeah. Yep, sense. you can drown simply by having your feet touch the water. Yeah, it's possible to drain the water, but the thing is that pretty much all of the water resection or something are very deadly and full of really annoying enemies. <laughs> but I don't know, it's not... I don't really think it's less he drowns and more he hates water. Does he look like somebody that hates water when he hits the water or something? I think when just he hits that... the water like that, it's just the wrong animation that's playing. Because it makes no yeah, sense. Like stuff. Yep. Hey! I like water! This music here is getting on my nerves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this entire level sucks because it's filled with absolutely nothing except these tiny one pixel wide platforms that you have to jump in and yeah, and overall it's complete hell and this world doesn't get better. Every single level in this world is just as unsufferable and annoying to play as this. And finally, this is where the game designers just sort of forgot to put checkpoints in some of the levels because there are very few and far between and it's really... Yep. The trees are just spikes. Oh yeah, also this world had one other amazing bug. There was this one... It's like, when you fight the end boss of this uh, of this world, there was that one time where the game just decided to take control of Bubsy and make him walk, except that he made Bubsy walk into water and therefore he died. While I won. Okay. Sounds fair. Yep, totally is. I mean, isn't it fun to have to plan every move you do just because if you fail a jump, you're just gonna drown because there's no floor anywhere? I mean, they could have made it in a bottomless pit, so it would have been the same. Yeah, it's just like this world has this gimmick where you can drain the water, but it's only temporary. And whenever that happens, it's like you have a high chance to just drown again. Whenever the water will go. Oh, yeah, that's right. Also, there's turtles and jetpacks. Okay. Cool. I guess. <laughs> oh, checkpoint. Yeah, it's like you can choose to ride either the raft, but don't. It's completely suicidal. Yeah, also for some reason, all of the water slides just drag you toward the lift. So, if you go on a water slide, you're not making any progress. I'm not making any progress. Why is there... Uh, what? <laughs> There's a fucking raft in the game over screen! Uh, I found a third bug. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Random weird bugs like this just uh, always make me lose it. So, 
Oh yeah, that was the beaver level. To go to more levels of this, or are we skipping straight to the next world? Can we just stop playing the game? Uh, yeah, that's also uh, that's also an option. I guess I'm I'm not... I want to see what the next world looks like if these made yep. tiles, sprite set thing. Yep. TGR TVN. Don't Tiger mean. Television. It's Trogzor. <laughs> it's like my Tiger favorite musician. <laughs> my favorite musician is Frank Zap. Also. Oh, the goddamn you... renting video game nerd. Did I ever show you the, the Frank Zappa book I got? That's it, I'm out of here. You can't make me. Oh yeah, the, I think you posted about it on Twitter at some yeah. point. Pretty sweet. Right. Hi of the Bobcat. Welcome to the jungle. We've got fun and games. No, we don't. That's a platform. Yep. These leaves are platforms and basically the gimmick of this level and world is that you have to go high in the trees in order to prevail. That's Although okay, that's not the way to do it. You have to go into another tree that has more leaves that you can okay. climb on. Or die. Yep. That's it. I'm out of here. You also this level sucks because the entire the entire bottom of the level is this solid floor or whatever it is, but the thing is if you ever fall down here later in the level you screwed yourself over and you have to backtrack all the way to the beginning in order to climb on the tree again in order to tr have another go at the level. Yeah, I see. Like this like game this. is so poorly designed. Yep. Oh, alright, bonus stage. Are you ready? No. Oh, you got a one-up. How does this even work? What do I do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you collected a shirt. Okay. I'm honestly not sure why this world is here because Honestly, for the most part, it's not as bad as the beaver world, but yeah, it's still pretty crappy because it's got a ton of these tiny platforms, but at least it's not as shitty and unforgiving. But that said, however, it's full of uh, blind jumps or whatever that you have to kind of figure out. But hey, it's still not as awful. A very relative term. Yep. I mean, we've been like a minute and a half through it, and we only died three times, as opposed to the beaver level, where in that uh, lapse of time we died, uh, we pretty much got a game over. Oh, pfft. thanks, door. And uh, try going back in it. Okay, at least it brought you back. Sometimes it doesn't even do that. It's just gonna bring you back to another door just because it feels like doing so. Uh, oh, okay, so it did bring you back to another door. Okay, so this door is bullshit then. <laughs> But at least it's just bad. I mean, it doesn't burrow into your skull and fucking destroy your eardrums and send. I don't know. My, my skull is pretty burrowed. <laughs> yeah, but that's the cumulative effect of playing all of Bob's. Right nope. Gotta go right. It's always about going right. Ah shit, you should have stopped gliding. Yeah. Now you have to walk all the way back to the left in order to climb the level because Yeah, if you keep going right, there's just flat ground with absolutely nothing in it and there's no goal or anything either. Yeah, the goal is all the kind of behind. Uh, 
Yeah, I guess. I'm just trying to find yeah. a way to kill, because I hit a checkpoint on my way down. Yeah, but I think you're gonna have to find, the, again, the place where you can climb on the tree. Usually if that happens, I right. just don't even climb. Oh, alright, get killed, yes! Taking damage to save time. Bubsy is like, I'm out of here, but he's not. Yep, that's it, I'm out of here. Uh -oh. Is that the sound of time for? Uh, oh. I think you can bounce on the web. Oh. Yep. That's what the kids say nowadays. They don't say okay, eyebrows the internet, they say I bounce on the web. <laughs> it's all Bouncing on the web. Yeah, that's kind of a good point, because web should not be bouncy <laughs> to begin with. Well, this cat is gliding. Uh, where are we? Oh, oh, okay. Where are we going? Where are we? No! Oh, okay, we're still on the tree, we're okay. No, no. Ah, shit. Oh, I had the checkpoint at least. Yep. Time to find that one, uh, that one wooly again in order to die to it. Yeah, there's a bunch of spiders in the level. That's it, I'm out of here. You can't make me. Yeah, I think we might actually finish this level successfully compared to uh, the fucking beaver level. Oh, alright. Yeah, I think we're actually at the end of the level because eventually you reach a point where the level stops going. Yeah, are you at the top of. The oh, yeah, the exit is over here. Here we go, we finished the level! Finish the level! Yay! <laughs> Bob success. Oh, no time to pause! I can pause. Look, I pressed the pause button. <laughs> they were just out of puns. Like, that's the laziest one. What? You give up show business? Oh yeah, I'm doing this for my birthday. Yep. Somehow. Yep, somehow. Which was a couple days ago, but that was inconvenient, so... I can't stream and drink, like, on a work day. That's not right. Eh, uh, yeah, not really. Yeah, there was a shit. Yeah, this was a shit. Oh, and yeah, that's right. It is indeed take a drink every time you die because. I think I gave up on that. Yeah, because. Uh, Bubsy is not really a good game in order to drink whenever you die because you spend more time dead than alive. These fucking uh, rocket cars are annoying. I guess all the spiders were over here all this time. Okay, 
Okay, so we are at the top of the level, which is a good place to be because then we earn the best spot in order to reach the exit. Alright, we're invincible! That means we can rush! No, we better methodically crawl over to make sure that we're not gonna mess up a jump. Thanks, Bubs. Great game. Good question! <laughs> the game is not making it easy for me to tell you where you have to go. What? Give up show business? <sighs> Wouldn't be so bad if I didn't have a way to continue. Yeah, honestly, a game like this should have had infinite continues because. No, wait, that's. What I mean is, I just want to stop playing. <laughs> well, if you if you want to stop playing, do so. I'm I not wanna... forcing you to continue in the slightest. I want to see what the last level looks like. All right, password to level sixteen. This like this this level is just boring. I don't know. Yep. This is the worst. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why did I think right. this would be a good idea? Yeah. What's the answer? Uh, what's what does that even mean? Yeah, this game has two players. I'm sorry. Oh, is this just give the controller to the other player thing? Yep. Okay. Yep. <laughs> we will make 60 levels of Bubsy. I don't really understand why games did that at the time because, like, we just do it manu manually. Oh yeah. Also, listen to the oh. in the Bubsy quote for this level. I fucked uh, up. Ah no. I press start and so select. Yep. Very intuitive. Like a lot of games had that thing where they had two players for a single player game, and basically two players is just. Uh, like two games side by side, so every time you die, you go to the other player who has their own game. It's like, why would you do this? Every mm. time I played with my brothers and my sister, all we like we just do the one game, and every time someone dies, they just pass the controller. But we, like, we continue on the same game because we didn't want to do the same shit over again. Well, are you still playing this thing? Right, are you fucking <laughs> fuck you? <laughs> oh, are you still playing this thing? God, I'm making such a shitty game. I can't believe you. Now. <laughs> yeah, the game becomes self-aware. They're all right saying, "Hey, our game sucks." Oh, it's good they know. <laughs> yep. Whoa, you're still playing this thing? Yeah, also it should be worth noting, the password that I gave you, the game doesn't give you that. Even after you beat the boss of level 15 or something, no, it doesn't give you a password. You have to randomly guess it, otherwise you have to play through the entire jungle world if you want to have another stab at the alien UFO level after you came over. Am I in a death egg? Is this Dr. Robotnik's fortress? No, it's not the death egg, it's the death yard. I mean, same thing, really. Oops. Yep, yeah, this level doesn't skim on the bullshit. So he has such a fucking dumb face when he does this intro. I fucking hate him. I hate Bubsy. He ruined my life. He's an awful shit. Well, are you still playing this thing? <laughs> Are you still playing this thing, you dumb child whose parents, ch like, bought their own game? <laughs> Way to add insult to injury, Jesus. God. Thank God my parents never got me shitty games. <laughs> you know, just, uh, bad dudes. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, well, at well, least I, I guess Bad Dude has had a good intro. Bar Bart Simpson vs. Dragon Ninja. And, um. <laughs> yeah, 
or Bart Simpson, or the sequel, Bart Simpson vs. the World. Bart Simpson vs. Dragon Ninja. <laughs> or, Bart uh, Simpson vs. the Dragon Ninja. Or, a mis or uh, the Mission Impossible game on N64. Or, um, I never played this one. I did play the one on NES, though. Or Superman 64. Uh, or... Yeah, this one I went right now. Yeah. Or... <laughs> Bart dudes. <laughs> so, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of cheese. Oh, uh, that's a teleporter. Yep. What, uh, what, what other shitty games do I have? Just for Gemini? That wasn't shitty, that was just very awkward. <laughs> That's not counting when I bought Duke Nukem Forever at full price. Oh, oh Donkey God. Kong I, I'm sorry to hear yes. that, strong bad man. Oh, Alright, watch out for the deadly bubbles! Donkey Kong 64 is oh, weird, because it's a bad game, but... It's, it's barely good enough for a kid to enjoy it. Also, yeah, just because it's a collectatron. Also, also, I'm sorry, but as bad as Donkey Kong 64 is, the final boss is awesome. And it's just, it's worth the entire game, I'm sorry. Yeah, I never played it, because back in the time I did not oh, have the... Uh, yeah. the, the Nintendo 64 expansion pack. Uh, it came with the game. Yeah, but I was just like, I don't know, I don't feel like buying this game or something. Yeah. Because even back in the time, I knew it was like a huge collectathon game, and I was like, nah, I'm not a huge fan of those. Yeah, I it, didn't came, like a it came with the expansion pack, because that was the only way they're gonna sell it. <laughs> yep, you needed the expansion pack in order to run the game, so that's why the game came with the expansion oh, pack. It wasn't the only the only game that needed it, but for some reason it's the only game that's sold with it. Yep. I yeah, I think that Majora's Mask also required the expansion yeah. pack. Yeah, it sure did. Fucking no. I don't I can't. Yeah, it's like the timing on this thing is really tight, and it further fucks up your timing by forcing you to do a running jump in order to get up to that ledge. Okay, and apparently Perfect Dark, if you didn't have the expansion pack, you could not play the single player. Yeah, if you put the, the Perfect Dark in the N64 without the expansion pack, you just get like a very limited multiplayer. With like just a couple maps, and you can only play it like two players, I think. I don't know, it was very, very limited. It, it felt like a demo, really. Hey, did you enjoy the game that you just bought? Now it's time to buy it again! I'm... Yeah. I'm done, there's nothing else to see, is there? Yep. Yeah, there's nothing else. We're done with Bubsy. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna take a look at that second garbage shit. Yeah, just play until you get a game over and that's about it. Because the game never really gets any better or... It's... That... That's it, game? No? Yeah, reset, reset to... to uh, no, I think you have to go to reset to menu. I click the wrong one every time. It's like this game is just Bubsy too. It's not even a game Games that I want. With personality. Yeah, with f purr. If by personality you mean fuck you. Yeah, it's like even though Bubsy had some redeeming factors in some weird ways, Bubsy too is just um, no. Excuse me. Did the ROM just freeze? <laughs> Quality product! <laughs> can I get a refund? I've been playing for more than two hours, I don't think I can get a refund. No, fuck! Yeah, the game couldn't even handle Bubsy's ass.
Yeah, hold on. I gotta see if this is something with the game or something. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised if the game was so shittily programmed that SNES 9X can't really handle it. Uh, where's my controller? Ah, there it is. Didn't do it this time. Oh. Okay, so it was just a freak accident. I guess. Grand Tour? What is that? Grand Tour means that you play the entire game. As opposed to... Yeah. I'm not too sure, honestly. Uh... First floor, yeah, what's the floor? other option? What if I pick third floor? Yeah, it's like the third floor means you're gonna skip to the final part of the game where everything is at its hardest and most annoying. Nothing can stop me now. Oh my god, the music is so fucking bad. What are you looking at? Oh, you're into a museum. Oh my god, did the controls get worse? Yes! Okay. It's like the game itself just decided was to have this, like. Was this a hub? Yeah. There's only one button now instead of two. Or no. Wait. Yeah, I don't remember what's the deal with the controls. I know they're completely different and completely fucked up. For instance, the item that you use here was a diving suit. If you find a pool of water while you wear this suit, yeah, you can so go into not. a bonus game. Maybe I shouldn't... The rum froze again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, such a work of art. I'm so glad. I mean, that they I don't sold. know why I'm surprised. It's not like they actually ported it. They just slammed the ROM into SNES 9X. Yeah, but even then, <laughs> what you think the people who make SNES 9X give a shit about Bubsy? Why should they? They're not gonna check that Bubsy is compatible completely. They shouldn't. I don't know. To. I thought it was. I mean, when Smite streamed it, there was no problems like this. Maybe they've got. Maybe they used a really old, shitty version of SNES 9X. I don't know. I can't believe you paid money for this. <laughs> yeah, like, the only reason why I bought it is because somebody else already did buy it for me. That's not a good reason. You're just perpetuating a cycle of hate and fear. <laughs> Yeah, oh, hard time, next up, Bakken time. Another swine mess. Star Wreck. No, Pirate Land. What? This is a bad pun. Also, this is not what I. Why are the controls? What did they do? Yeah, the controls have just been completely switched up, and for the really awful. Okay, <gasps> this, this, uh. this ROM doesn't work. It freezes after like one minute. Yeah, I guess that Bubsy 2 just hates you, which is fair, because it's not as if this game is worthy of respect. Well, Bubsy 2, it doesn't work. The ROM doesn't work. I want my... I want I want your money back. You should get your money back. <laughs> nah, don't sweat it. Seriously, don't... don't... Oh, this... Like, I'm not mad at you, but I'm mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> I think the whole, like, buying shitty games as a joke is a bad thing, because you're just... Encouraging them. Yep, and that's why there's gonna be a bad, a bad rat sequel. <sighs> well, I mean, it's that one guy making them, so it's not like he can do whatever he wants. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's not working on your side. I just tried playing it, and I, I'm trying to play it, and it has yet to freeze. I don't know. Maybe it's just. So I guess Bob Z2 just eats you, which uh, is right, I guess, because it, 
Yeah, maybe he is. doesn't agree with the streaming. I don't know. Yeah, but that would be weird, though. I don't know. But there's no reason why it would crash on mine and yours. Don't pirate games. Just don't do it at all. Not even. Yeah, games. don't. Just don't. Because I'm so proud that I'm honing a legitimate copy of Bubsy. Right, what am I... Do I just stop streaming? Is that it? It seems so anticlimactic. Armadillo, go to jail. Fuck you, game. Did you... Okay. I'm just... Happy birthday to me. I'm just, I'm just trying to think what could redeem this. <laughs> do I switch up? Do I play Hearthstone instead? Well, you could always do it. Let's do it. Just as a palate cleanser. Yeah, I'll just, I don't even. Whatever. Uh, oh my god! Fuck Bob Z too. Pull up a chair by the hearth. I'm just, I need, yeah, I need just something to, like, <laughs> just get my mind off this garbage. Eh, that's fair enough. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> This doesn't fit the stream, but I don't really care. How dare you play a good game on I stream? Guess, I guess I'll try. I'll actually try to. This is making my mouse freak out. I wonder how Arcade Pit went. Uh, okay, that looks fine. Oh, that's good enough. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Yeah, nope, it's covering nope. most of the screen. No, nope, no, nope, that's not what I meant to do. <sighs> All right, <laughs> whatever. Whatever. I was doing an arena before, um, uh -oh. and it was like I had Deathwing in it. <laughs> uh oh. Let's just play that as a part of cleanser. I don't even care that Destroy I'm streaming. Oh, yellow team finally won! Hell yes! Yellow team what? Nah, the arcade pit. It's just like uh, on Smite show, the yellow team had like this curse that made it so that they will never ever win. What's what I is, mean? I I hear about this, but I don't think I've watched a single one. What is arcade pit? Uh, arcade pit is pretty much like. Uh, well, have you ever watched or heard of uh, Nick Arcade? No. Well, here it's essentially like a, an online show about video games where you just end up having a bunch of uh, random things. You move onto a world map, you have uh, things like you have to answer questions, play video game challenges. It's a game go show. Into... Yeah, it's a game show. A game show about games. And Smite made his own game show. Yeah, he made his own game show from scratch and oh, all Smite. with the... Uh, how do you participate? Yeah, and yeah, and yeah. Can I just, also can, all the can challenges. Can I just like, can I just um um like bother Smite and and ask him, hey, put me in your put me in your game show? I probably would. He probably will be happy to welcome you. Well, probably later. Probably not while I'm in France. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think he's already got his uh, his guest for like the next two weeks uh, all prepared, but yeah, he probably could come in into uh, another show.
Oh, all right. Here, draw a card by having your minion die in order to draw two more cards. Draw a card to draw Bubsy. <laughs> You kill Bubsy to draw cards. Yeah, I can't believe, um... I can't wait for the next Hearthstone expansion with Bubsy in it. You know, Bubsy the old god. Ye old Bubsy. This is, this is, I'm sorry, this is the worst birthday stream. <laughs> That's okay! This is actually the worst birth birthday stream I've ever done. I just, I'm just... I don't know, I had a good time. Yeah. You want it? But yeah, next birthday you probably should reward yourself by playing a good game. <laughs> So what's discovering a spell? Uh, so discover is a new mechanic they've introduced with like the last adventure. Uh, discover is essentially the game shows you three cards and you pick one. Okay, and then you draw it. And then you, you add it to your hand. It's not a card that comes from your deck. It's just a uh, three random cards. Uh, also, among those three random cards, you can only get like. Um, Neutral cards or cards from your class. So like if a mage discover okay. if a mage discovers a spell, it can only be a mage spell. You're not gonna find counter spells in there. Alright. This is actually a pretty cool mechanic. I think it's the best mechanic they've uh, come up with, because you know, draw a random card is always kind of eh. You you never have a, a guarantee of the quality, so you don't really know. Draw, uh, discover. You see three cards, so you you have a little bit of more choice, but there's still this aspect of randomness. So I think it's a pretty cool mechanic. Oh, face with everything, huh? Not even kill my guy. I don't know what's making my mouse cursor blink like this, but it's kind of annoying. Can't see it most of the time. Probably should have done that first. But... Wanted, dead or alive. <laughs> So that one person that certainly had a one hell of a fashion uh, statement with his uh, white and red uh, stripe uh, thingy. The spell slinger? Yeah, the thing that, yeah, that. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, I love the spell slinger. Add a random spell to each player's end. I got a bear trap. It's a it's a trap card that makes a bear appear, get it? It's a bear trap. <laughs> dumb. <laughs> yeah, that's not how bear traps work. They don't summon bears in order to help you. Well no they do. I don't mess with the sheep. <sighs> mm. 
hopefully. I know at least uh, it ended earlier than when I played the uh, Ridden Planet. That was five hours. Yeah, except that, well, you know, Freedom Planet is a longer game and of higher quality to I mean, yeah, it was good, but at least I'm not gonna fall asleep at, like, 2 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, I mean, considering you have to take a flight tomorrow, it's probably for the best. Mm -hmm. Speaking of going to bed not too early, I think I'm also going to be one who's not going to go to bed late. I think I'm just going to like play this game and then stop. This is not going well. Ah, fuck off. Flame strike. Flame strike. Lots of flame strike. Come on, Deathwing. I don't remember yeah, what this day contains. I know it has a flame strike. Flame lands deal 8 damage to a minion. Yeah, only a minion. Doesn't work on face. So it's okay for arena, but it's not great in constructed. Yeah, honestly, I never could get into constructed. It just seemed like no matter what I do, people have way better cards, and that's pretty much why I stopped playing. Yeah, the thing with uh, Hearthstone constructed is, um, you you do need to, like, you can you can still win with basic cards, but the thing is, you need to know what the op what the opponent strategy is just by like seeing his first cards. You need to know what kind of deck they have, just out of a glance, and so you can predict what they do, and you can maybe have a chance. But that means you have you need to have knowledge of every single deck that goes out there, and there's just for some people it's just too much, and even for me, like I don't know, I play it occasionally, but. Yeah, I haven't played in forever. I think that ever since I stopped playing, I probably... I think there's been at least three or four more expansions that came out no. ever since. Uh, well, this is the end. Yep. Um, to be fair, they are trying to make it more accessible to newcomers by uh, doing a, a format thing. Like, what they're gonna do is... There's a standard format in which you can only use cards from, at the most, um, the last two years, and all the cards are just removed. Uh, and then they're just gonna be, like, selling only one kind of packs, I think. Okay. So, like, you're okay, not... So, it's not like so essentially, you, you, you end up with a mode where you have a limited number of cards, so if you're just a newcomer, you can just play that, and you're not gonna have all these crazy cards that have been there forever, and are difficult to collect all of them. Oh, alright. I'm getting tired, and this is, um, this is the end. I'm sorry, this is very anticlimactic, but this was a bad game, and this was a bad choice, and this was a bad birthday stream. I'll do better next time. <laughs> Eh, don't worry about it. Happy birthday, Ragni! Says you. Smite. Thank you. Is that... That's not our Smite, that's a different Smite. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's Smite. That's oh, his name on it, Box. Oh, okay. Is that... Did he... Did he choose that name because he was tired of getting mistaken for that MOBA? I don't know. That's not what I said! HP birthday Ragon. Yeah. Ragon! Oh well. Happy birthday, everyone. Happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs>